Hello and welcome. This time we're going to make a DVD. But it's not just going to be a normal DVD. This one is going to be an interactive DVD. And to do that we need to go to the Nero desktop icon and click. And we're brought to this screen. And we're going to select creative content at this point of the screen. And I'm going to click. And I'm checking to make sure that I have all the creative content installed on this PC, which I have. If you don't have this, you need to use this screen and follow the wizard that will install all this material for you. Then you can go to Nero Record by using this icon here and clicking. And he brought to this screen. Now I'm going to be working with video files today. So I highlight the video file and click and it brings me into this selection where I can choose which file I want to load. And I'm going to choose to click on that icon and load that file. And it will load it into this screen. And when the thumbnail changes it's loaded. But I want more than just one file to work on, so I'm going to come down to the bottom middle of the screen I'm going to click and it gives me the chance to install more files. So I'm going to use CLT on my control on my keyboard and select these two files and I'm going to click to open. That's just to show you that you've got options for importing material. And now they've loaded. I can now, because I'm using this material and it's going to be encoded to burn onto a DVD, I can go over to this quality control area and I have a drop down. And I'm going to click on the drop down box and I'm going to choose that I want this information to go onto a DVD and it'll limit the size of the information that's going to go onto that DVD to be no more than 4.5. If I was using a dual layer DVD it would give me the ability to have more information on that disc. It would allow me to have 8.5 but I'm just using this drop down for the uh, DVD and I'm clicking and it grays out this selection here. And now I can come across to the bottom middle of the screen and I can click on that icon and it allows me to choose whether I'm going to make a Blu-ray disc, whether I'm going to make an AVCH disc or whether I'm going to make a DVD. Well, I'm going to make a DVD. So I come across and I select DVD. And it'll import the information into the screen. It'll load it up. It's loading at the present time because we've got the little symbol for loading. And then here it's going to show that it's loading. Then we're brought to this screen. And there's the three files that I've imported. And I can play these files just to check that I'm happy with them. So I've got the top file selected. And I'm going to come down to the bottom left hand side of the screen and there's a play icon there and I'm going to click on that icon. And by clicking on the same icon I can stop that file from playing. I can select the next one just to see if I'm happy with that. So I select the middle file and I come across to the play icon and press. Passengers travelling on the halfway to leave the steam locomotive turn the clocks back to 18. And again I'm pausing that file and I'm going to select the bottom file. And again I'm coming back down to the left play icon and pressing. <laughs> And again I'm pausing that video. So those are the three 
files that I'm going to burn onto this DVD and uh, I have other options if I look on this toolbar I can come to this option here and by left clicking I can actually add chapters to this file. It's only a short file so I don't want to add any chapters so I'm going to come across to the far right where it says next and I'm going to click and it will take me to this screen. Now in this screen I have these thumbnails and I can select what thumbnail from the thumbnail here what information is shown on the screen. And I particularly for this video choice I'm going to choose that thumbnail by left clicking. And I can further work on this screen by clicking on the icon and I can move the position of the file around the screen. I can then click on the next selection and I can move that where I want it to be on the screen and I can click and I can move the next one. And I can even resize the thumbnail by using this selector tool and I can make it bigger or smaller whatever. When I'm happy with that I can go across to the far right hand side and click on next and I'm brought to this screen. Now in this screen I can preview the information and see if it plays and so all I need to do is put the cursor on the thumbnail and click and it will play that file. So I'm going to do that by left clicking the file just by clicking on this player here on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Now I'm going to select another one of these thumbnails by just highlighting it and clicking it. Passengers traveling on the halfway to the latest steam locomotive turn the clocks back to 1866. And I've paused that again and I'm just going to find try the final file to see if that plays by again clicking on the thumbnail. And again I've paused that file. Now when this material is burnt onto a DVD and it's put into a DVD player you'll be able to select these particular thumbnails with your remote control and if you selected that thumbnail and had it play it would play that file. So you can choose which material you watch making it interactive. Now the next thing I need to do is come up to the top of the screen top right hand side and it has the word pre-render. Now if I need to click onto that and what it would then do is encode all this information on the screen so that it can then be encoded correctly onto the DVD. But then I have to add all this information by going down to the bottom right hand side of the screen and I click next. If I click next it would take me to another screen and in that screen you would see all that information being written onto a file and when that's finished which would take from 5 to 20 minutes I would then have to select next in the bottom right hand corner and it would take me to a screen where on the bottom right hand side I would have the words burn and if I clicked on burn that information that has been prepared would then be burnt onto the DVD that I would have in the DVD tray and if I then put that into a DVD player and watched the information on a screen I would see exactly what I'm seeing now on the screen here. So it makes it a different way of watching your videos 
and it makes it more interesting and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.